Adam has fallen. And the children of men were multiplying. In those days, our daughters were beautiful. But the angels, the sons of God, they saw. And they were consumed with lust. One day, they decided that they wanted to come down to earth and marry our women. They wanted to have children of their own. But Simyaza, the chief angel, the leader of the Watchers, he gets scared that he would get punished alone for this great sin. So those angels, they bound themselves together with a sacred oath. They swore they would never abandon this plan. Strayed from the Creator. See, they descended in the days of Jared on the summit of Mount Hermon, and they took unto themselves wives. Each chose for themselves one, and they began to defile themselves with them. These angels taught these women charms and enchantments, magic. But when these women became pregnant, They bore the great giants. They consumed all our food, and it wasn't long until it was impossible to sustain them. And when our supply ran out, the giants turned against men. They devoured us like beasts. They sinned against our birds and beasts. The whole earth was corrupted. Eventually, one of those fallen angels named Azazel taught men about this substance called metal. It allowed us to make swords, knives, shields, and breastplates, and so much godlessness arose. The whole earth was filled with blood and injustice. So the Archangels, Michael, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel, they saw the cries of Earth, who accused Semyaza for mingling with earthly women, leading to the birth of the great giants. Then the Creator, the Holy and Great One spoke, and he sent the angel Uriel to the son of Lamech. He told him, Go to Noah and tell him to hide himself. Reveal to him the end that is approaching, that the whole earth is about to be destroyed, and a great flood is about to come. Tell him how he can escape, so his seed alone can be preserved. Then the Creator spoke to the angel Raphael. Bind Azazel, hand and foot, and then make an opening in the desert and throw him inside. Then hurl jagged rocks upon him, and cover him with darkness. Let him stay there forever. He will be cast into the fire on the day of judgment. You see, the whole earth was corrupted through the works that were taught by Azazel. To him ascribe all sin. Destroy the children of fornication and the children of the watchers. Turn them against one another so they may destroy each other in battle. They will not have a life. The Creator then said to Michael, Go, bind Semyaza and his associates who have defiled themselves with women. Let them witness the destruction of their children. Bind them for seventy generations, deep within the valleys of the earth, until the day of judgment. In those days, they will be led off into the abyss of fire to be tormented forever and ever. Only then will the whole world be cleansed. One day, I, Enoch, was blessing the Lord of Majesty and the King of the Ages, until this holy angel called out to me and said, Enoch, go and tell the watchers who have left the high heaven that they brought a great destruction here on the earth. 
that they will not obtain peace nor forgiveness for their sin, and as much as they may love their children, God says they will witness their utter destruction. I went and said, Azazel, a severe sentence has been passed against you, and you shall not obtain peace. Because of the things you have taught humanity, the sin and the godlessness, God will no longer tolerate you, and he will no longer hear your requests. Then I went and spoke to the watchers together, and they were afraid. Fear and trembling absolutely seized them. So they urged me to write up a petition on their behalf so that they might obtain forgiveness. And I actually wrote out their petition. I prayed in regard to their spirits and their deeds individually. I asked the creator if he would forgive the watchers anyways, but that night a dream came on to me. It was this vision where this voice told me to reprimand the watchers. It was a clear sign that their petition had been denied. See, when I woke, I returned to them. They were all sitting gathered together, weeping, with their faces covered, but I still proceeded to recount the visions I had in my sleep. I began to speak the words of righteousness, a great reprimand of the heavenly watchers. I wrote out your petition, and in my sleep I saw that your petition was not granted to you. God says that throughout all the days of eternity, no, your petition will not be granted for you. God says that from this day forth, you will not ascend into heaven for all of eternity, and you will remain here and be bound until the end of the earth, but not until you have seen the destruction of your beloved sons. There shall be no such thing as heaven or a giant. Now, in the vision, I was summoned with this mist, and it lifted me upwards into heaven. I was brought before the Creator Himself in a spectacle of fire and lightning. He told me, Enoch, go say to the Watchers who have sent you to intercede for them. Tell them that you should intercede for men and not men for you. Why did you leave the high, holy, and eternal heaven to lay with women? You were spiritual beings. You have an eternal life. You are immortal. Your dwelling place is in heaven, and this is why I did not appoint wives for you. You have defiled yourselves with the daughters of men. Now, these giants, who are produced from spirit and flesh, they will have to remain here on earth. And here they will be called evil spirits, the spirits of the giants, your children. They will afflict, oppress, destroy, attack, and work destruction here on earth until the very day of judgment. See, you watchers had been in heaven, but, but not, not every, every mystery was revealed to you yet. You only knew the worthless ones, which you made known to these women. And through these mysteries, humanity committed many sins. So to you, God says, you shall have no peace.